First at five, an update on the city's aggressive and dangerous dog ordinance. This after revisions to the existing ordinance went into effect on October 1st. And those include new requirements for owners of aggressive and dangerous dogs to purchase marked collars, leashes, and signage. 3 News' Madeline Salinas met with Animal Care Services to find out how the first month under the updated ordinance has gone so far. She joins us now to lead things off. Thank you, Leslie. A dog deemed aggressive by animal care services is one that either attacks or kills another animal. A dog deemed as dangerous is one that makes an unprovoked attack on a person. Joel Skidmore with Animal Care Services tells me that if a dog harms another animal or person, that doesn't automatically mean that the dog would be deemed dangerous or aggressive. The case could be brought to the department's investigation team where the dog's status would be decided. Corpus Christi Animal Care Services has 12 dogs deemed aggressive and 13 deemed dangerous. Those designations are not based on the animal's breed, but on their actions. It's based off of a negative interaction that an animal either, again, has to inhuman for the dangerous designation or an animal-to-animal -animal attack that uh, qualifies for an aggressive designation. No new dogs have been deemed dangerous or aggressive since the ordinance change went into effect. But Animal Care Services Program Manager Joel Skidmore told 3 News there are five more cases of potentially dangerous or aggressive dogs that are still under review. Now there are always ongoing investigations. We have one investigator whose entire job duties is investigating dangerous and aggressive dogs. Those start with an affidavit. Once an affidavit is filed, Skidmore says that the overall investigation and cases review doesn't have a set time frame for completion. The reason for that? Dangerous is a lifetime designation. Skidmore says one of the most important changes to the already existing aggressive and dangerous dog ordinance was being able to physically label both the dog and its home with bright orange signage. So that way everything is uniform. It's a uniform look and it's uniform requirements so the citizens, if they ever come to a house that has a dangerous dog, they should be able to readily see that there's a dangerous dog on the property because that's an out, that's outlined, that's a requirement of a dangerous dog owner. Now Skidmore says that any dogs who are currently under investigation stay with their owner until that investigation is over. If the dog owner is neg negligent and continues to let the dog run around, he says that that city could have the ability to seize that dog with a warrant. Leslie. All right, Madeline, thank you for that report. Well, new tonight out of